Good evening, folks. Dr. Freedom here with you. Time to talk to you news. News from in around the universe that may or may not drive you to the point of the utter excitement, madness, and titillate your imagination to new levels that'll make Mount Everest look like a little spooch pool on the floor. But okay, um, yeah, it's kind of a lot of, you know, the usual stuff going on. People running around screaming, all oh, this, all oh, that. Why did somebody's channel get canceled? Yada, yada, yada. And it just amazes the crap out of me that people spend hours and hours and hours a day just watching YouTube, you know, talking about, see this guy's talking about, well, what's his name's channel has been banned. Yada, yada did this. Yada, yada did that. Oh, goodness gracious me. Um, but then again, you got to watch out too, because as I said before, a lot of these criticism channels, they've been getting shut down. Um, or demonetized is the proper term, demonetized. So all I can say is this, you know, let's get to the stuff you're here for, okay? I'm not going to spend a half hour plugging a razor or some shit, just to you know, get you going. Let's get to the news, the stuff you want to see. All right, let's jump to the beginning. All right, teeing off over here on Mina FN. Um, here's a little article. Fan reaction to the first Black Time Lord exposes Britain's deep divisions on race and gender. Now, if you scroll down here a bit, what I love is this. Both events provoke, now they're talking about Sasha Dewan's appearance, of course, as the master as well. So that's what they mean here, okay? Both events provoke strong responses on social media from enthusiastic plaudits through to the runs from fans ranging from the sincerely woke to the reactionary and even racist. The latter response might be considered out of character for the followers of a show whose liberal hero has for more than half a century, renounced violence and struggled for peace, social justice, and environmental sustainability. You see, that's why I die laughing when these guys jump up and down and say, Doctor Who has gone SJW. It's been that way almost since the beginning, you flaming jackholes. It's like, I don't know what program you were watching up till about, you know, Jody took over, but they're doing all pretty much the same shit. All right. This is a series, I like that, this is a reminder, whose very first episode had a female producer, matter of fact, the first female producer at the BBC, Verity Lambert, and a British Asian director, Waris Hussein. And I also don't mention the fact that Waris Hussein, if I remember right, is also gay. Like I said, if they say here, I mean, phenomena virtually unheard of back in 1963, which was kind of weird that Dewan also played Waris Hussein an adventure in space and time. So, once again, you have to love these fair weather fans, as I like to call them. You know, they're they're just finding different excuses to hate the show, even though it hasn't really strewn to you know, strayed too much off the mark. And I've heard some really radical crap lately about this show. It just makes you want to heave. All right, but on the bright side of things. Joe Martin and Doctor Who have been nominated for Screen Nation Awards. That's right. Screen Nation has announced its 2020 Film and Television Awards, and among them are Doctor Who for Diversity in Drama TV Production and Joe Martin for Female Performance in TV for her work on Doctor Who, Holby City, and Fleabag. Pearl Mackey has also received an honorable mention in the Female Performance in TV category for various roles. Now, if you jump down right here, they are saying, oh, God, I hate I got to get that fixed. All right. Uh, right here, the Screen Nation Awards, hosted by Raquel Apia, will stream live on Sunday, July 12th at 7.30 p.m. on their website. Boom, right here. And there you go if you want to go check that out. All right. And here's a list of apps apparently you can also use to tie into that. Okay, let's keep moving. Meanwhile, get ready for this. Doctor Who is up for the TV Best Choice Family Drama Vote. Voting for 2020 TV Choice Awards is now online. Doctor Who is nominated for Best Family Drama. Matter of fact, unfortunately, it's going up against Call the Midwife, Casualty, and Doc Martin, so I give it a snowball's chance at hell because they always usually hand it off to one of the usual favorites and snub Doctor Who nine times out of ten these days. So this 2020 award ceremony will be shown this autumn online due to the COVID-19 epidemic or pandemic, whatever they're calling it this week. And you can vote online here if you want to go vote. Voting closes on Friday the 2017th. Uh, Friday the 2017, Duh! Friday the 17th, 2020, at midnight. 
I got a little brain problem there, okay? <laughs> okay. Uh, we're not squeamish, David Tennant, on privacy, parenting, and playing himself. Actor returns this week in the parenting comedy, There She Goes. He discusses the boundary between art and reality, the impact of COVID-19 on the arts, and the future of labor, amongst many, many, many other things. So, interesting article, David Tennant and the gang. Now, this is weird over on Gizmodo. You can watch Sarah Jane Smith's final episode, which was The Hand of Fear, cut down to just 30 minutes. Now, it says right here, this is taking place this week. The official Who YouTube channel released a condensed version of the 76th classic, The Hand of Fear. Go watch the whole damn thing. My goodness gracious. How chintzy is this getting? Remember, I think there's a link yeah, here, right? If you want to go see it. But a lot of people, you know, like us, the older fans, freaked out. We went, yee, when she appeared in School Reunion. And, of course, they're never going to do that with any other companion on the main show because they're afraid you might have to do a spinoff, and that would cost money. I think they even had Mask of Man Dragger up here, and that one's very interesting because that was the first one that introduced the wooden console room that sadly no longer exists in the Baker era. All right. All of this Whitaker shuts down Time Lord reunion with your not invited. Now, it was a joke, okay? If you scroll down here, they were just joking around. You better, Matt, Matt Smith said, you better ask the doctor, I don't know, Jody. Uh, and she goes, you're not invited. She laughed before correcting her little witticism. But you, you see how they're, they're trying to turn this into a hit piece? And the thing is, is this, uh, Express, remember like not too long ago when you put up an article saying that Series 13 was in jeopardy because Ma Fat was leaving? I wouldn't be throwing any stones if I were you. I just, no. Um, no. Okay, so once again, um, don't freak out. We do not have any official word on Doctor Who filming being delayed. We don't have any word on it being canceled. And as I said, we've already got like um, other sh shows are coming in to start filming. Like Keeping Faith is going back before the cameras this month. Uh, Batman, the movie with Robert Pattinson, whatever they're titling it this week, is going about, is going to be filming in the UK. And yet, some some you know schlub, you know BBC whatever director, you know TV Wales, you know bigwig, says they cannot film to the quality standard. Blah blah blah, under the current coronavirus whatever restrictions. And everybody starts jumping on that it's canceled bandwagon, it's delayed bandwagon. Folks, until we get official word, a lot can happen in two months. Uh, Doctor Who filming was not scheduled to begin till like around September. And yet here we got all the experts running around, the so-called experts running around screaming, it's delayed. I want to hear it from the BBC, it's delayed. Don't run around, what's the point of running around spreading panic now other than to draw attention to yourself? Oh, well, what can you do? So please, everyone out there, take care. Remember, as I just said, you know, COVID is still out there. If you know, take care of yourselves. You know, wash your hands, do whatever you got to do. You know, just to keep you and your loved ones safe. Okay, that's all you got to do. Or if you don't got to go out, don't go out. And if you do go out, wear a freaking mask. I got to wear one nine hours a day, so don't feed me any crap. Good night. Take care. See you on the flip side, kids.